Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I am Randall M. Roof. I am a welder, former welding instructor. Uh, I graduated from uh, the CAV program or Columbus Area Vocational Program at Columbus North High School in 1992. I went on to uh, further my education at the Hobart Institute of Welding Technology in 1992-93, where I graduated and got a combination uh, plate and pipe degree. And I have been a welder for, well, I did welding since then for about 10 years. Uh, part of that time, about three years of that, was as an instructor uh, at the I would take Community College of Indiana at the Columbus, Indiana location. And today, I'm going to talk to you about the speed glass welding helmets. That's right, speed glass. I love speed glass. Speed glass <laughs> is one of the greatest modern conveniences a welder um, can have in his arsenal to make welding a lot easier. Not better, but easier. Um, basically, what speed glass does, uh, there's a battery in here, and there's a, some glass. And I'll show you some, you know, that, the intricate details of it in here in a minute. Basically what it does is there's some sensors in here. On this one there's two, there's one here and here. And when it's turned on um, and set to the way you want to set it, when you strike an arc and the light becomes very bright, it instantaneously turns this purple stuff, it's really dark, and protects your eyes from the brightness of the arc. It's adjustable so you can turn it um, darker or lighter. And uh, it also protects the welder's head from sparks. And uh, if you're grinding, a lot of times, you know, a majority of the grinding, uh, if you're grinding toward the ground, which you should be most of the time, uh, it should be more than adequate protection for your head and neck. And um, this costs about $200 when it was brand new. Now, since this, I've had this one, of course, newer ones have come out. Bigger one with bigger eyepieces come out. Newer, better technology in the speed glass itself, as well as the control circuits, of course. But nonetheless, this is a great helmet. And um, I just thought I would show you the basics of what it is and how it works. And this is a speed glass. So this is a speed glass 9000V. And it meets American National Standards Institute Z87.1 as a high impact protector. Um, it runs on one uh, battery and goes for stick, MIG, and uh, TIG. It goes from 9, has set settings of 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. And, uh, so, now let me tell you, one of the great things about this hood is that when it's turned off, it's a shade 5, which is perfect for oxyacetylene. Whether you're cutting or welding with oxyacetylene, just leave it turned off. And it's already a shade 5, which is one of the benefits. You don't even have to use the battery, just leave it turned off. Uh, of course, again, if you're going to use your, if you're going to do any shield metal arc welding, or gas metal arc welding, or gas tungsten arc welding, of course, or any carbon arc cutting or something along that nature, you're going to want to turn the helmet on, and depending on how intense your amperage is, you're going to want to adjust the uh, shade accordingly. I don't know if you can see that, but there is, let's see how, right over here, there's a dial. You can adjust it. It goes from 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And, of course, the higher you go in numbers, the darker it gets. Now, these um, numbers are standard in the industry. So, if you get one made by another company, it should be the same as everybody else's. Whether it's Speedglass or some other company. Speedglass is the main company in the industry. Um... I would highly recommend getting a speed, if you're going to get a helmet that auto darkens, I would recommend a speed glass, okay? Just 
personal experience. I've used other helmets by other companies. And I'm not saying they're not good. I'm just saying Speedless is the one I would recommend. Okay, let me tell you briefly some of the benefits of this. The hood itself fits on very nicely. You got a little back, you got a little screw thing. You can tighten the back right here. It's a screw. This little screw knob here you can adjust to tighten it. Okay, so it fits there. Now, the thing you want to remember is you want to adjust your top part. Well, this one's taped down. But your side part here, these, these tighten it up, both sides. And of course, again, this tightens it up too. But this is your flexibility on your sides here. That's how flexible. Um, the reason I tape this top part up is because I got my head, you know, this, this direction stays the same. So I want to be able to, I just wanted to keep it that position. So I taped it. But tightening up on the back, what you want to be able to do, excuse me, is for it to stay up by itself. If you don't want it to come down, you want it to be tight enough to stay up by itself. So if you're looking at some materials or you're talking to somebody about whatever, it stays up by itself. Yet all I have to do to lower the hood is make a uh, motion with my neck. That motion just kind of like just kind of a little. Actually, it was a little farther than I want. But there you have it. Okay. Now these batteries, battery in here will last a long time. Um, long time. Okay, so now that you understand this turns it up on the back, some helmets have a thing where you can adjust it up here to your height. I wouldn't get one without it. But you know, I've taped mine up so it does because there's no need for there's no need for this part to move on my head because this helmet is just for me. Now, if I was in a shop somewhere where different people were using this, obviously I wouldn't be taping it up. But since I'm the only one using it just for me, it's my helmet. That's what I did. So these will be about the same. You want to do about the same size on both sides as far as the tightness. Just a little here. I have, or right here, tape wrapped around here, around the front. That's just, um, because without the tape, all you have is this plastic stuff right here. It's plastic. It goes all the way around, and it's not very comfortable. So what I did is I just put a bunch of tape on here. It came with, when you buy the helmet, it comes with a little foamy pad thing. But it it's flimsy, not very good. Uh, it doesn't last a long time. So I just put tape right here. This tape lasts a long time. Um... This is actually just duct tape that you may or may not be able to tell but by looking at the camera, but it's actually white. And that's because over time it's faded, the, the gray color has faded. Um, so I just put duct tape around it and it's, a, it's, very, it's very comfortable. Um, next thing I want to talk about is the front of the hood. In here you'll notice there's, I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's Right here, there's ventilation, and where that ventilation comes out is right here on the sides. See, I can see my finger in there. Okay, so when you breathe out, it comes out here, it comes out here, and you're not fogging up your mask. Okay, to clean this, um, because what you want to do, this this part right here will get dirty, and what you have to do is it's really easy. Just come over here, and it pops off. There's Two points here, okay, and then you've got two little hook, hooky things right here, and you can see they go they go here and here, and then of course up here. And of course, there's the part that is protects the sensor. Now you never want to use this helmet without this plastic thing right here. This, all you gotta do is put your finger on there, and it pulls out. This part gets dirty. This part is not. See how clean that is? I've never had to clean that. That's never been cleaned. That part right there has never been cleaned. Never. I've never had to clean it. Because I always have some kind of protection on top of it. Now after a while, of course you can wash these with Windex 
or just water, but eventually you'll just want to take it and throw it away. And replace these are about, depending on where you get, 25 or 50 cents a piece, maybe a dollar at the most. Some places, you know, welding shops will put sell for about a dollar. But they step right in, they step, they're really easy to step in, really easy to snap out. My computer screen just a little blank on me. My uh, screensaver just went uh, kicked on for some reason. Okay. Next thing to take into consideration is um, you can see with the vents where you breathe. Okay. And then all you gotta do is pop the two holes, things in the holes down here. And then pop them. No, I don't know. Come on. There you go. Pops a lot. You can hear definitely hear it pop in. Okay. Oh, I forgot to do it. This old kind comes in this way. <laughs> it's a long time since I changed it. I forgot it had this kind of a clip on it. Okay, so you got this. Let's use the other one. Um Okay, so you've got this, you've got this, you'll also notice on this side, there's a little plastic protective piece as well, that you want to protect the, uh, okay, so you want to protect that piece as well with a little, and then, Bring the battery out here. Let me sit here all. I had to sharp my fingers. I'll be better at this. Bit. Then, um, <clears throat> okay, so what you have is two little, these are what, two CR5s? No, CR2032, three volts. Yeah, CR2032, three volts. And uh, there's two of them. And my, I've got another speed glass helmet that I have that someone actually gave me <coughs> that. It's out in the garage. Um, it runs on a double A battery, which is more convenient. Um, because these ba they make these batteries. These ba you can buy these batteries anywhere, not anywhere, but in most places they have batteries you can buy these little things. They're, they're more expensive, and they're not rechargeable. But that's why I like the other one better. Um, the one with the double A is so much better. Um, but I step back in. I was thinking this is the one, I was saying this was the one earlier was the one. With, see, it's been a while since I've been using this, this particular one. Um, I was saying this was the one with the double A batteries, but this one isn't. So this is the old one. But so you have two batteries. When I turn it on. And then uh, you can, what you do is turn it on. Basically, there's a button right here. It says on. See how it changes colors? It's off right now. So turn it on. You just push the button. And if you don't use it for, um, I'm not sure what the time is, it's like five minutes or something, or something like that, it automatically goes off. Or if you want to, you can turn it off manually and just hold it in. There you go, it's off. Um, so I need to force this real good before I put it back, or before I use it. Um, but uh, there you go. It has a low battery indicator light, 
and like I said, you adjust your shades. It's a really nice piece of technology. It's even they make the newer ones that they make are bigger and have may have the sensors may be in different places, but it basically does the same thing. And um, the one out the garage. Uh, comes out a different way. I got the other one. But anyway, uh, they're relatively similar. Um, again, there's lots of, it's like anything else, there's lots of manufacturers that make them different ways and different, attach and go together different ways. This one, all you gotta do is put this one back in and just pop it down like this. And up here, there's two latches on this one. Pops back in, boom. I've got my plastic shield on. I've got my, You know, there you are. I am ready. All you do is turn it on, put it on my head, and I'm ready to weld. Now, ideally, I would have cleaned, cleaned my lenses and stuff like that, but either way, it's ready to go. I'm ready to go. That's all there is to it. Now, all you need to do is either know how to weld or find someone that can teach you how to weld. That's all there is to it. Again, this isn't, isn't going to make your weld better. But it will make doing the welding easier. So until next time, I'm Ryan Roof. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. And may God bless you. And remember, there's no such thing as perfect. But there is such a thing as getting better. So, so keep striking those arcs.